has dropped precipitously in the last decade or so. Every year, the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation, it does a World Service poll. And the poll is very simple. They list 36 countries in the world, and they ask the public, do you think this country has had a mostly positive or a mostly negative effect on world opinion. And every year, clustered at the bottom are four countries, which overwhelmingly world opinion says these countries have had a negative impact on the world. And the four countries are always, every year, Iran, North Korea, Pakistan, and Israel. Now that's quite a remarkable fact, if for no other reason than if you compare the news coverage of the four countries, Israel is in a category all its own. I dare say since 1952, there hasn't been a positive article in any country in the world except North Korea on North Korea. So it's not altogether surprising, leaving aside its internal policies, that it would fall at the bottom. And the coverage of Iran and Pakistan, I don't think is much better than the coverage of North Korea. But in the case of Israel, depending on the country, public, uh, the media coverage is, you might call it middling, to places like the US and Canada, where it's overwhelmingly positive. But notwithstanding that fact, public opinion still classifies Israel with North Korea, Pakistan, and Iran. If you look at the most recent BBC World Service poll, they did a poll on the Palestinian bid for statehood a few months ago. And they asked the simple question, do you support it or not? Every single country, every single country where the question was put, either a plurality or a majority, either a plurality or a majority said they support Palestinian statehood. When I say every single country polled, I include our own country, the United States. Two polls were done of American public opinion. In both polls, a plurality, 45% said they supported Palestinian statehood, and depending on the poll, 25 to 35% opposed it. It's actually a quite breathtaking fact, because in our own United States, the president, both houses of Congress, both major political parties, and all the media, the mainstream media, came out strongly against Palestinian statehood. But notwithstanding that uniform and united opposition, a plurality of Americans managed to see through the lies, see through the disinformation, see through the misinformation, and came out in support of the statehood.